What's up guys, we are here to watch some Hunkai Impact 3 Chronicles, learn about the story, and then we'll dabble into more. Captain Umbridge. Greetings Captains, welcome to the Honkai Operations Center. Have you wondered where the Valkyries came from? Yes, What are I they have. fighting for? Yes, And what exactly also. does Honkai mean? This man is good, he's answered all the questions the I have. worldview of Honkai Impact throughout this series. Today is a basic introduction to the prequel of the entire story. Throughout history, the struggle between mankind and nature has never ceased. Uh -huh. The Honkaiverse is based on a parallel universe that reiterates this conflict, humanity's struggle against the Honkai. But what is the Honkai? What is we the Honkai? We don't know exactly where it's from, but it's a force of chaos that existed from the beginning of time. It wants to destroy human civilization, and when human technology advances, it grows stronger. Honkai have tried to destroy us through creating supernatural disasters, monsters, and plagues, and giving birth to Hershers, godlike beings who can bend physical laws. In the Honkaiverse, humanity has already established a high tech global civilization 50,000 years ago. 50,000 years ago? To this civilization as the previous era. Unfortunately, those high tech humans in the previous era lost the war and were defeated by the Honkai. The previous era was destroyed, but some humans survived to rebuild human civilization. This brings us to the current era. Of course, Honkai this wants to just zoom in through the timeline. So they didn't leave us in peace, even in the current era. 2717 BC was the date of the earliest record of the Honkai beast attacks. Fortunately, gifted human warriors such as Ji Xuanyan helped us defeat these early Honkai monsters. That's a cool little but Ji Xuanyan you have right disappeared there. into the seas after an expedition to what defeat is, the giant oh. Honkai beast Chiyo. To defend humanity against the Honkai, a religious organization known as the Shiksal rose after the fall of the Roman Empire. Shiksal was led by an overseer, usually a member of the Apocalypse family, who established Shiksal. It helped create the feudal order by helping various European princes gain power. They also developed crude Honkai-powered weapons and initiated the Honkai Crusades. The feudal armies of Europe fought the Honkai, defeating them in many battles and reclaiming lost lands. To increase its power, Shiksal also recruited and trained its own military. The Valkyrie Order is the most famous Shiksal fighting force, and a legendary Valkyrie is Kalan of House Kaslana. The Kaslanas are a family of knights known for their prowess in fighting the Honkai. Okay, so she really strong. Kalan's most then. powerful weapon is the Oath of Judah, an artifact from the previous era. That's a huge that was cross. Very effective Holy against shit. the Honkai. However, many things happened in the year 1470. Honkai created an infectious virus that caused the Great Plague and killed millions throughout Europe. But Sheiksal did not focus on treating the plague. Instead, what? the leaders wanted to dominate the Eurasian continent and declared war against the Ming Empire of China. The war ended with Sheiksal's defeat in 1475. To pay for the losses, Sheiksal increased taxes and took money from the poor. These bad decisions only made Sheiksal even less popular. Yeah, it makes when sense. When tried to recover from its defeat, the Great Plague continued to claim lives. Otto Apocalypse, a younger son of Sheiksal's ruling dynasty of House Apocalypse, managed to develop a cure in 1475. Although he was not the heir to the seat of Overseer, Otto's discovery increased his popularity. The deaths of his father and brothers allowed him to become the new Overseer. Since then, human technology continued to grow. Everyone thought Honkai was gone. But the first Honkai eruption took place in 1952 and destroyed the entirety of Berlin. Berlin got destroyed because of a Honkai? Oh, wow. The first wow. Hersher, a powerful godlike being capable of bending physical laws. Shiksal, which has become a rather secretive organization by now, quickly overpowered and captured the Hersher for research. But Shiksal scientists failed to find out anything. The first Hersher was then transferred to a Shiksal lab in London for additional inquiry. It was there that the first Herscher was given the name Welt by the resident scientists Einstein and Tesla. The scientists what? and leadership of the North American branch were already very displeased with Otto's militaristic leadership. Some even doubted Otto's willingness to eradicate the Honkai. These differences eventually led to the independence of the entire branch, which renamed themselves Anti-Entropy in 1955. Unlike Shiksal, which relied on Valkyries as its elite warriors, Anti-Entropy designed and built Honkai-powered mechs. The second Honkai eruption happened in 2000 and destroyed Siberia and the Russian Far East. Oh. It turned out that Shiksal were performing many inhumane experiments on Honkai-resistant children. Oh, go figure! One yeah, of them, makes Siren, complete sense. awakened and acquired Hersher powers and proceeded to take revenge against those who tested on her and her friends. 
Shiksaw mobilized hundreds of Valkyries and depleted its entire arsenal of Honkai fission missiles to defeat this foe. Many Valkyries fell in battle, including Cecilia Shariak, reputedly the best Valkyrie of Shiksaw. Fourteen years later, in 2014, a minor Honkai eruption, referred to as an outbreak, took place in Nagazora. The outbreak wiped out the entire city and transformed many into zombies. The cause was the partial awakening of Mei Raiden, the third Hersher, due to an implantation of a Hersher gem. The Nagazora outbreak was contained by Sheikhsal Far East Branch, led by Teresa Apocalypse. The few survivors Teresa of the event, Kiana Kaslana, Mei Raiden, and Bronya Zaychek, were then enrolled cool in St. Freya backpack. High School, a Valkyrie training school built by Teresa Apocalypse after the Second Honkai War. Now we can finally move on to the events in the game itself. Honkai Impact Third starts in the year 2016. You are the captain of the flying battleship Hyperion of Sheikhsal Far East Branch. I like starting off as a captain. Kiana Kaslana, a brash and hot-headed Valkyrie trainee, and her other friends into battle. We hope this provides a basic understanding of the important events and forces of Honkai Universe. The rest of the history will continue in future episodes, following the life of Kiana, Mei, Bronya, and other Valkyries in the Honkaiverse. Huh. That man's just moving it real quick. All right, let's see this one. I love what they're doing with these transitions here. Yo, she had a sight by Dude, this is like, oh, this is okay. All right. I love what they're doing with these animations. It's like they're taking like the, 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 the paints out of like the manga, so like out of the manga in a way, and then just moving like it, it's, I like, I like how they're doing this. That's pretty freaking awesome, not gonna lie. That was cool. All right, what's the next one? Theater of Thunder. I was not expecting that transition, okay. So posh. I feel like all these like no names are just like using her.
for she had dot dot dot. That's your swordmaster? <laughs> it's like a... I like how he's actually using a sword and she wasn't. on like the chalkboard it says criminal now with everyone pointing So Swordmaster Homu was her is her dad then? Which is why he hasn't shown up. Oh. Yeah, that's wild. Great job on the storytelling of this. So she found someone that actually is eating her food again. Hmm. Huge ass meal. Okay. Kittens and puppies. Yes, it does. Yes. Oh, 
Yeah, exactly. That's the whole thing. Yup. Look at her, look at her friend in the background. Good for her. Good for her to have a friend stand up for her, like, for her like that. Same person, regardless. Swan protector. Wait, what? Where did she go? So, so she that so she also picked up a Valkyrie suit then. Pretty good theater of thunder right there. Greetings, Captain. Welcome back to Honkai Operation Center. Oh, in recent stories of Honkai Impact Third, May has been the center of stage. She returned to the city of Nagazora, regained her Hersher powers, and once again became the Queen of Thunder. How did this heiress of a multi-billion dollar corporation turn into a Hersher? What did she experience and witness? To answer these questions, we have divided May's journey into four parts. Origins, Valkyrie, Arc Fugitive, and Returning to Nagazora. Oh, May okay. Raiden was born on April 13, 1997 in the city of Nagazora. Her father, Ryoma Raiden, was the head of Massive Electric Corporation. May's mother, however, he got passed arrested. away when she was young, and her name remained a mystery. 
May was enrolled in the elite high school of Chiba Academy. Only children of rich, powerful, and connected people could hope to study there. Really? And May Ryden happened to be one of them. And she was so much more. She was beautiful, tall, and intelligent. Everyone in school idolized her. But this didn't last forever. Disaster struck ME Corp that her father owned. Ryoma Ryden became a criminal, guilty of economic fraud, and went missing to avoid arrest. May's life was turned upside down. Went her missing? Wait, 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 wait. there's two different things right there. And he was arrested. Her. That was when she learned that their friendship and adulation were only reserved for her family fortune and prestige, and those had disappeared when her father ran away. Left alone to face an uncaring world, May soon became extremely jaded and started hearing a voice echoing in the darkness. It promised terrible powers. This world deserves to be destroyed. She chose to become a Hersher and ignited the 2014 Honkai outbreak in Nagazora. Millions died as a result. Wow. While May reveled in her new powers, a mysterious silver-haired transfer student named Kiana Kaslana suddenly appeared to stop her. Instead of trying to kill May for destroying the city, Kiana appealed to her human conscience. With her help, May successfully subdued the Hersher within, and Kiana quickly became a close friend. The two girls met Bronya, and the three of them worked together to flee the stricken city. They were then taken into custody by Himiko, a Valkyrie of Sheiksal's Far East Branch. Teresa Apocalypse, who's in charge of the Far East Branch, used all her powers and resources to enroll the three girls into her own Valkyrie training school, well, St. Freya High. Okay. And that was May Raiden, an ex heiress once worth billions, who lost both her parents, became ostracized, acquired her Dad, powers, oops. <laughs> destroyed a city, met two very good friends, and started training to become a Valkyrie and defend the world against the Honkai. May was ever fearful of the Honkai within her and agreed to let Himeko implant a heart bomb. The bomb has a sensor that will start a countdown if it detects Hersher impulses within May. During her training, May and her friends Kiana and Bronya took on many missions that included stopping an ancient Honkai monster, Chio, and recovering a runaway battleship known as the Selini. So they killed May a monster also demonstrated and her superb saved the giant ship. Abilities. She even learned to play video games. But things would once again turn for the worst. Shortly after graduating as fully minted Valkyries, May, Kiana, and Bronya were sent to Shikshal's Oceania branch to recover a Hersher core, the Gem of Desire. Ooh, I desire the that. The gem was placed in an ex Valkyrie named doll. Wendy, who served as its human vessel. That's her master. But Wendy eventually lost control Slash dad. and became a Hersher herself. While the young Valkyries battled Wendy, Kokolia from Shikshal's rival faction of Anti Entropy ambushed them using a brain chip implant to control Bronya and capture both Wendy and May. While May wow. was held as a prisoner to be experimented upon for her Hersher powers, Bronya chose to sacrifice herself by burning out her brain chip so that Kiana and the others could rescue May and escape. May soon realized that her friends often Burned suffered her grievously brain chip? just to save her. A sense of helplessness and a matching desire to get stronger began to grow. Can we just like talk about that? Let's address that real quick. The... How, how, how you go burn your brain to save your friends? What kind of power her heart. was she being corrupted with right there? Like, wow. That wasn't the end of the bad news. As Teresa and the Far East Branch worked around the clock to wake Bronya from her coma, Sheiksal Overseer Otto Apocalypse suddenly abducted Kiana Otto and Apocalypse. took her to his secret headquarters. It turned out that the Overseer always had a secret plan of reviving a Hersher known for her burning hatred against humanity. May, once hopeful that she could protect the world as a Valkyrie, realized that she simply wasn't strong enough. Bronya went into a coma to save her, Kiana was kidnapped, and her ultimate superior, Otto Apocalypse, turned out to be a scheming supervillain who Hidden would soon villain. unleash a terrible Honkai disaster and upon the entire her. planet. Wow. Once again, May's life entered another pivotal moment. Kiana was revealed to be an artificial clone designed by Otto that served one purpose only, to serve as a vessel to Sidim, the second Hersher who was defeated in the year 2000. To rescue Kiana and stop the impending Honkai eruption, Teresa of the Far East Branch rebelled against Overseer Otto. 
May also became part of the alliance forged by Teresa and Anti-Entropy. And together, they fought their way into the headquarters of Sheiksal itself. While battle wow. raged, Sidin began to stir in her slumber. The second Hersher gradually assumed control over Kiana's body and summoned a horde of Honkai beasts. To help clear the way to the possessed Kiana, Teresa decided to remove the heart bomb from May. May was grateful for Teresa's trust. How are you going to remove a heart bomb? Though? Armed with the power of the Hersher within, she easily defeated numerous enemies. But all her struggles were in vain. When the rebels stepped into the heart of Sheiksal, Sidin's persona had already succeeded in fully possessing Kiana. Oh no. A terrible battle followed. Sirin tore away the gem of conquest from May's body and acquired even greater powers. The brutal removal of the Hersher core also took May out of the fight. Just when all hope was lost, Himeko entered into the fray and bravely fought Sidin. Her selfless fight gave everyone the time they needed to escape. Oh, that's how this ties Teresa in? Teresa and the exhausted rebels withdrew from Sheiksal. They failed to stop Otto and Sidin and became fugitives on the run. The Battle of Sheiksal was yet another blow in May's life. She couldn't save her best friend. Siren even took May's core, gaining greater powers to wreak havoc on the entire planet. And in the face of such an enemy, May's only option was to flee. Wow. Having been on the run for four months, Teresa came across witness reports of Kiana at Ark City, located in Shenzhou. Teresa, Bronya, and May tried contacting an intel dealer named Grey Serpent. Instead, they came across the Ningyo, a cyborg girl who might know Kiana's whereabouts. But Sheiksal's agent Rita suddenly appeared and defeated the three fugitives. They were forced to retreat with the Ningyo. That the is it. I really like the Ningyo no longer had any useful data after being formatted by Rita. May, who felt she had been performing poorly in battle, asked Dr. Tesla to make her an augmented battle suit to work better with her residual Hersher powers. Meanwhile, the fugitives also decided to split their forces in two. Okay. Teresa would respond to Kokolia's request and head to the deep located in the Pacific to retrieve the Gem of Desire. May and Tesla would return to AE headquarters with the Helios to repair the Ningyo for data salvaging mommy. and locate Kiana's whereabouts. While May and Tesla worked on the Ningyo, the cyborg suddenly conveyed a message from Rita. Rita revealed that Kiana was indeed in Ark City to investigate a mysterious serpent-backed company. Kiana even agreed serpent to form backed? a temporary alliance with Rita. But Rita soon walked into a world serpent trap and lost her S-rank Valkyrie powers. Kiana was also captured by the world serpent. With little options left, the world Rita serpent? thus decided to call May for support. Though suspicious of Rita, May would not give up any chance of reuniting with Kiana and went back to Ark City eventually. May was also surprised that Rita did not lie and even tried working with her. May did get what she wanted, reuniting with Kiana. She asked her friend to return to the Hyperion. However, Kiana chose to stay in Ark to stop the World Serpent from creating an artificial Honkai eruption in the city. Really? A World Serpent mercenary named Raven tried to stop Kiana and the two girls God, fought I love off, that animation. only Looks to great. realize that Raven succeeded in delaying them. A wounded May could only see her friend tapping into the Forbidden Void powers to send the detonating Honkai reactor away from the city and save millions of people. Kiana passed out from overexerting herself and fell. Her deadly descent was stopped by a tree that sprouted from a lance. May rushed forward to save her friend, only to find out that Durandal, the most powerful S-rank Valkyrie of Shiksal, had arrived first. And this wow. Valkyrie was ordered to take Kiana away. No matter how hard May fought, she couldn't stop Durandal. Once again, Durandal the cruel hands of fate huh? tore them apart. The attempted reunion with Kiana at Ark City only deepened May's angst. She was too weak to stop Sheiksal, and her weakness allowed them to take Kiana. Though imprisoned at Sheiksal's Vemur Labs in North Africa, Kiana managed to escape during the chaos caused by a World Serpent attack. A world she used her void attack. powers again and teleported herself to Nagazora the place where she first met May. Dr. Tesla detected the energy fluctuations from Kiana's teleportation, and thus the fugitives headed toward the city that was destroyed by the Honkai eruption three years ago. May and Tesla arrived at the city ruins and tried looking for Kiana. What? Instead, really? they found scavenging children living oh, in shelters little... who survived the Honkai disaster. 
smiley face button thing. And the thing. sensei protector of these children who helped build their shelters was none other than Raven, the world serpent mercenary that May fought in Ark City. When facing rising sea levels and Honkai resurgence, and also due to her need to protect the children, May agreed to set aside hostilities and join forces with Raven. Together, they located Kiana's whereabouts and even defeated the Honkai dragon Benares that was trying to protect its queen. Then Raven revealed her intent for coming to Nagazora. She wanted to kill Kiana and end the threat of the Honkai she poses. Nevertheless, Raven gave May a chance to stop herself. May drew her blade without hesitation and ended her brief alliance with Raven. But without her Hersher gem, May was no match against Raven. The mercenary even scoffed at her, calling her no different than an ordinary human. Wow. May knew that Raven would kill Kiana once she was defeated. She decided to sacrifice herself and started concentrating Honkai energy within her. Without Raven having the gem shocked. though? She just witnessed a Corliss ex Hersher releasing a sudden burst of terrible power. She therefore allowed May to take Kiana away. After enduring many battles and defeats, May was finally able to bring Kiana home. But then Dr. Tesla told her the bad news. The three Hersher cores within Kiana had overloaded her body with Honkai infection. <gasps> she had less than two months to live. May found herself you gotta be kidding utterly me, helpless man. after hearing the bad news. She also found that Kiana had lost several really? senses. And really? Really, fate? Even taste You're gonna do the like that? She cooked. The World Serpent, however, was well aware of the relationship between May and Kiana. Kevin Kaslana, the sire of the World Serpent, met May in person. He was a previous era survivor and lauded as their most powerful warrior. Kevin promised May that the World Serpent could save Kiana's life, and that would require May to simply become a Honkai Hersher once again. Once May became a Hersher, one of the Hersher cores infecting Kiana would dissipate and reappear in May instead, greatly reducing Kiana's infection. But May would have to leave Kiana and join the World Serpent to ensure that their grand project succeeds. And when Project Stigma successfully reforms the human race and defeats the Honkai, Kiana would no longer have to sacrifice herself to protect the world. To save her dying friend, May accepted the Serpent's offer without hesitation. Really? And shortly after making her choice, a channel into the Sea of Quanta suddenly appeared in Nagazora. It turned out that Otto had fired the second divine key to create a channel right through the sea. And this was only possible because of the deal that Kevin and Otto made a few days ago. Kevin told May that she should take this chance to absorb Honkai energy seeping from Nagazora and complete her metamorphosis. Complete it? Everything that began in Nagazora would end in the same city. Three years ago, Kiana stopped May from becoming a Hersher and the two girls became best friends. And now, May has decided to become a Hersher once more just to save Kiana. When the transformation is complete, May will have to betray her friends and join forces with the enemy. But that's the price she needs to pay. Entering the darkness is the only way she can return Kiana to bliss. Wow. We're happy that you managed to stay with us and reach the end of this video. We would also like to know what you think about the Dude, story so far. This guy's doing an amazing job like of telling the fucking next. story. Background history of the Jeez. factions such as the World Serpent, Sheiksal. Greetings, captains. Welcome back to the Honkai Operations Center. As time flows forward, Fuhua has shaped the history under different names and identities. The eighth Hersher who calls herself Fuhua has now appeared before us. But who is she really? What has Fuhua undergone in 50,000 years? Let's take a closer look at the long and solitary life of a warrior. Fuhua was born in the lower district of a previous era metropolis. She grew up practicing martial arts after her father and lived a disciplined life. Due to her humble origin, plain appearance, and straight, reserved personality, Fu Hua was a loner when she studied in Sapphire. Only until she saved a classmate during a zombie attack did she gain the acceptance of those around her and learn to warm up to people. But just when she was beginning to envision a bright future, wow. fate forced her on a path that she had never imagined. The Honkai impact tore what she knew apart. The city was burned to the ground and her family and friends were killed. Fuqua fled and was saved by Moss Squad 5 leader Himiko. In a world where one could not survive alone, Fuhua could no longer afford to dream and was only left with the mission to eliminate Honkai. Eliminate Fuhua all the Honkai. joined Moth as a soldier, but she was still too weak to save anything. Cities fell. Billions of lives perished. Her savior, Himiko, died in the hands of her comrades after transforming into a Hersher. 
She only had the passion to defeat Honkai, not the power to realize it. In the face of an overwhelming enemy, was running away the best thing she could do? Fuhua did not accept her fate. Burning with a grudge against her fate, Fuhua was reborn after challenging death in an experiment that was deemed lethal. Igor miraculously fused with her and transformed her into a mantis. A mantis? And the user of Key of Domination, as well as Fun Huang Down. The mantis brought home one victory after another until the final Hersher descended. Humanity stood no chance in the decisive war. The few that survived forfeited their civilization. They put themselves into cryogenic sleep so they could start anew when the time arrives. And so Fu Hua's story enters the next chapter. After 10 millennia of sleep, Fu Hua was awakened as the executor of Project Ember, whose mission was to guide the people of the new era in developing their civilization and resisting Honkai. Fu Hua hmm. was not alone in this. She was surrounded by lifelong friends who genuinely cared for her and wanted her to take back her life. Yet she lost all of them in a judgment class Honkai disaster. Fu Hua became alone again. As I mean, mantis, judgment class is like devastation, immortal. right? As the user of Feng Huang Down, her memories last forever. In Fu Hua's near everlasting life, as fleeting as her interpersonal encounters may be, the inevitable parting that ensued would still scar her for life. Really? With her last friend gone, Fu Hua closed off her heart. Oh no! She secluded herself from the earthly world, carried on the mission of eliminating Honkai like the programmed robot. No mercy for the corrupt that became her sole code of conduct. She only cared for the mortals' corruption, not their lives. In 1458 AD, Fu Hua founded the school of Taishuan at Mount Taishuan Shenzhou. It was to safeguard Shenzhou and cleanse the world of Honkai. The school of Taishuan, which only had seven disciples, dominated the martial arts world with the edge of Taishuan, a secret sword fighting style that could channel Honkai energy. To the ordinary people, Fu Hua was as untouchable as a celestial, and hence was named Phoenix. In 1475 AD, on the Kipchak steppes in Central Asia, Fu Hua single-handedly trounced Chicksaw's elite forces and their strongest Valkyrie, single Kalan Kaslana. This battle also led Fu Hua's first encounter with Otto Apocalypse, Otto! her lifelong rival. In the next year, for reasons unknown, her seven disciples mutinied and razed Mount Taishuan to the ground. Fu Hua was grievously injured, having lost her full power and immortality. Fu Hua temporarily withdrew from the world. Since she could not protect Shenzhou in a powerless state, she made a pact with Otto. Fu Hua joined Shiksal and worked for Otto. In return, Otto pledged to watch over Shenzhou in her stead. In 2000 AD, the second Honkai eruption brought total destruction. It was later known as the most devastating Honkai disaster of the current era. In a few days, multiple major cities were destroyed, resulting in millions of casualties. In this war, Shiksal and the anti-entropy fought back in full force. Fu Hua was dispatched to subdue the Hershers as a Shiksal Valkyrie. In Fu Hua's long life, she has never ceased rethinking what fighting means so she may one day slay all Hershers and eliminate Honkai. By then, she had found the way of defeating a Hersher. What's that? With unparalleled combat experience and Feng Huang Down's power, Fu Hua overwhelmed the pseudo Hersher of fire and temporarily suppressed the second Hersher who possessed six Hersher cores. Yet even with such a So the Hershers can possess power, more than one core she then. She not defeat the second Hersher who was under the protection of the will of Honkai. At the critical moment, Fu Hua sacrificed Feng Huang Down and her memories to activate Feng Huang Down's first power, Taishuan Eminence. It severely wounded the second Hersher and cut off her connection with the will of Honkai creating an opening for humanity to turn the tables. Really? Fighting so she sacrificed war, everything. Fu Hua her memories and most of her power. Wow. Over a decade later, Fu Hua enrolled at St. Freya as an undercover agent. She became the class monitor of Kiana's class to surveil the activity of the Hersher of the Void inside Kiana. Although she approached Kiana and her friends with an ulterior motive, she regained long lost friendships and bonds in a campus life full of joy and laughters. She carried out Otto's orders while secretly helping out Kiana and her friends to protect an addictive yet fragile balance of fate. Wow. However, the mission of eliminating Honkai ultimately made her side with the other end. 
She took away a Kiana and helped Otto rouse the Hersher of the Void. Little did she know that Otto did not play by the contract. He only roused the Hersher for his selfish desires, not to protect others. To keep Fu Hua out of his plan, he shot her. Wow. To stop Otto's plan, Screw Fu Hua Otto. activated Feng Huan Down's zeroth power before dying to transfer her sentience partially into the feathers and bind her sentience with Kiana's soul. Feng Huan Down, which bore Fu Hua's sentience, led Himiko to the power that could confront the Hersher of the Void and provide the serum that could quell the Honkai energy inside Kiana. When Bronya was trapped in Grey's Serpent's Mind Labyrinth, Feng Huan Down appeared in time to help her escape. After the Hersher of the Void begot a Honkai eruption, Kiana sunk into self-blame and loss. <gasps> it was Fu Ha's sentience that supported her and taught her how to harness the Hersher power. At last, to protect Kiana, Fu Ha's sentience burned herself out in the battle against Kevin and fell Frickin into a Freaking Kevin. However, that was not the end of her story. After the Shiksal battle, Otto repaired her body, only to revive a Fu Hua that was not the fighter who upheld her mission above all else and abolished her own desires. She had the looks of Fu Hua, but uttered frivolous, arrogant, and impetuous words. She had the memories of Fu Hua, but could not understand the motives underpinning them. She loathed Honkai as much as Fu Hua, but she was no different from Honkai in action. Purely driven by a desire for destruction, she destroyed. She killed Otto's clone and demolished half of Shiksal's headquarters. To vent her desire for destruction, she fought Durandal and Kevin to trick Fu Hua's sentience in Fun Huan Down into submitting to her. She varnished over her motive time and again. To win the trust of Kiana and Bronya, she lured them into her memories to elicit their sympathy. In the end, she was not Fu Hua, but the eighth Hersher born from her memories. Perhaps to the oh. eighth Hersher, this story that perpetuated itself for 50,000 years is an elaborated, pitiable tragedy. The Fu Hua that constrained herself and lived solely for her mission was nothing but a failure. She wanted to become a better Fu Hua. Perhaps the girl bathing in the sun on the grass 50,000 years ago would have had the same idea had she had learned the story of her life. It is a life that has seen too many betrayals, lies, and sacrifices. However, it is also a life that shaped Fu Hua into the remarkable fighter that her friends believe in and rely upon. Hmm. What does the future have in store for her? We will find out together. That's a good question. It's a very good question. 